If you've followed me for a while, you know I like to keep things simple. All year round, but also around Christmas. I don't have a ton of decor, but I do enjoy decorating for Christmas in a minimal way. Over here is tradition to start decorating for Advent first, which this year was the last Sunday of November. Before it's rare to see any decorations in private homes other than string lights. Those usually start appearing early or mid-November when it gets very dark over here in Sweden. It's kind of funny how on Friday before 1st of Advent there's nothing and by Saturday evening there are paper stars and Advent lights in all the windows all over Sweden. Since I moved to this apartment two years ago, I tried hanging string lights randomly outside in the bushes along my fence, but I never really liked the haphazard look. This year I decided to make a wreath instead. I couldn't find a wreath form large enough, so I bought a few smaller natural wreath forms, picked them apart and made my own larger size. I spread the twigs out to create a bigger circle. Then I added more from the other wreath to beef it up a little bit. I used some floral wire I already had. Had I bought new wire, I'd gone for brown though. Let me tell you right away, this wasn't the easiest. The twigs were very set on staying in their original curl, so it took a bit of wrangling to put it all together. I'm sparing you some footage where I was wrestling hard. The finished wreath form turned out well, but it was still very floppy. I decided to try and mold it into shape overnight. I put it on the patio floor, held it down with some gardening tools and sprayed water all over it. And you know what? It worked. The next day I had a pretty solid wreath. But before starting the actual decoration, I needed to give my flower beds and pots some winter love. I popped some pine branches on the emptied pots. I did this last year too and it looked so nice all winter long. For the wreath I just added some eucalyptus. I just snipped off some stems and tucked them into the wreath form. In a few spots I secured them with a bit of wire. I was going for a skinny spares wreath so I didn't need much. Then I added a strand of lights all around it, which also held the eucalyptus in place. As for the placement of the wreath, had I just looked from it outside, I would have probably centered it over the pots. I chose this spot because it's where I can see it from when I'm in my favorite armchair in the living room. It's also pretty much centered in front of my bedroom window, which is a nice view. Okay, moving along inside. In my basement I keep these four boxes. The bottom one holds my Elflugan light. The second one holds my string lights and paper stars. The black box contains my Design House Stockholm Joy light. The little box at the top holds the rest of the decorations. A felt angel, some snowballs which I grabbed at my old workplace before it closed down, my son's Christmas stocking that I made a few years ago, some tree decor, my advent candle holder, The paper decorations I made in last year's Christmas video, which don't look their best after having been in storage. Plus the green paper trees. And some more tree decor. 
And that's it. I love to create and craft and Christmas is a great excuse to make something fun. I already had these wooden beads and decided to make some ornaments using the beads and some natural twine. It's super simple. Just cut off enough twine to create a loop for hanging, plus the amount needed to string the number of beads you want to add, plus a little bit extra to knot at the end. Thread both ends of the twine into a bead, release one end when you have the size loop you want and tie. The holes of my biggest beads were large enough to house the knot. So I just pulled it inside and then added a medium size and a smaller size bead. Underneath the small bead I tied another knot and trimmed the twine. So simple and I think they turned out well. Hung them on my Norfolk pine. I think they will move to my bigger tree once I get it though. The Norfolk pine is actually the same one I had last year. After last Christmas I planted it in the corner of my patio and it seemed to enjoy it so that's the plan this year too. Lighting a candle each advent before Christmas is tradition over here, whether you're religious or not. I'm not, but I love the countdown. My isn't decorated with anything, I like it plain. Traditionally, you add white moss and tiny little toadstool decorations. Scents are a big part of Christmas. And one of my favorites is that of pomanders. I showed these in last year's video too, but this year I'm adding some that are zested too. I've had this zester tool for years and basically only use it around Christmas, but I love how easy it is to decorate with it. I've linked some zesters in my Amazon shop if you're looking for one. Mind you, they are affiliate links, I will get a tiny commission if you buy anything through my Amazon shop. Moving on to lights. Lights are the biggest part of Christmas for me. Like I said, it's very dark here in Sweden this time of year. Here in Stockholm we get about 6 hours of daylight in December. The sun rises at about 8.30am and sets just before 3pm. So extra lights are paramount. I don't do overhead lights ever though. To me those are just for cleaning or if you drop something on the floor and can't find it. I love me some ambient light and especially for Christmas. First one to come out is this one called Elflugan. It's a pun in the Swedish word for firefly which makes sense when you see it in action. Also present each year is the countdown candle which I told you about in last year's video too. 
All of December is the season of mulled wine here in Sweden, or glögg as we call it. We add raisins and almonds and have it with pepparkakor, gingerbread and lussebullar, saffron lucia buns. Topping the gingerbread with blue cheese is a great December snack. I also added some marmalade on top because I was feeling fancy. For gift wrap this year I'm using up what I have basically. My gifts will be monochrome black and white plus craft paper. I do know that my 91 year old mom won't appreciate that, so I'm wrapping her gifts in a more festive stripe. More lights! I add white paper stars to most of my windows and they just give that nice glow all through the holidays. I've had the same ones for at least 10 years and it's when they are up that I feel Christmas is really coming. The little felt angel ended up in my bedroom. I also popped a leftover wreath from my outside project behind. Another leftover wreath ended up in my bathroom propped on the ledge under the mirror. It shares the space with a small juniper. And while we're in the bathroom, I treated myself to an advent calendar this year. As a minimalist, I'm not really for adding 24 little random things to my home, but when I saw that my favorite skincare brand Biotherm offered a calendar this year, I decided to get it. The products are quite expensive and what I've tried so far has been great for my super dry skin. I think the calendar is a good way to sample the range and find my favorites to buy full sizes off in the future. And that's basically the Christmas decor this year. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up, it really helps my channel. Also please consider subscribing. I'll continue sharing all things Scandinavian from my apartment here in Stockholm and beyond. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Go you!